Joanne Green, careers manager and careers advisor here at the Changing Education Group. Joanne, um, how long have you worked at Changing Education and what does your job involve? So, yeah, so I've been um, a careers advisor uh, with Changing Education for five years now. Um, so it's so quite a while. And the last couple of years, I've also sort of taken on responsibility for sort of supervising and managing the careers team as well. So with the, working with the advisors and working, working alongside schools. So that, was take, that takes up part of my time. Um, I, I also practice as a careers advisor as well. So I'm currently working in three schools in Greater Manchester, um, delivering careers advice and guidance. So one-to-one -one interviews mainly uh, with students in year nine, 10 and 11. And we also work with a number of schools they're delivering virtual careers interviews as well. So I'm currently working with a school based down in Luton. Um, they're working with us and we deliver their careers interviews using uh, Microsoft Teams or Google. So a bit of a mixture of virtual, in-person careers advice and guidance. Wow, very busy indeed. So remote uh, careers interviews as well as one-to-one -one face interviews. What do you enjoy most about your work at the Change in Education Group? I think what I like about working for Change in Education is that we are a relatively small team of advisors and a relatively small company, you know, compared to some of our um, other, other sort of organisations that I've worked for in the past. So I like, I like the way that, you know, you feel like you're supported and supportive to your team. I like the way that it's very easy to speak to one of the company directors if you've got an idea or if there's anything that you need to discuss. You don't have to go through sort of layers of emails and, and you know protocols to, to get your ideas across. You can, you can speak to the directors, you can speak to the team members and you can make changes and you can suggest you know, different ways of working or suggest new ideas. And, and I do feel like you listen to us and you know, that's a good thing. And I think with the other advisors as well, you know, we, we meet quite regularly and we share ideas and share good practice. Um, and, and I feel like it's quite a supportive place to work, which is good. And how would you say careers education and guidance has changed over the past 10 years? So, yeah, well, I, I qualified as a careers advisor um, 15 years ago now. So I've, I've worked within in this sector for, for quite a long time. Um, and I have seen changes which have mainly been positive. Um, one of the changes, obviously, you know, relatively recently is the, the Gatsby benchmarks, which were brought out as a framework uh, for schools to base their careers programmes and, and the way that they work with employers and providers and, and the personal guidance as well, which is where we come into it. And I think that's given the schools a lot more structure. Um, and a lot more accountability for the, the careers advice and careers education that they deliver. So I'm seeing now when I, when I speak to students, even students in year nine and year 10, they're much more, they're much more prepared, they have much more knowledge, they have much more self-awareness. What do you enjoy the most about the job that you do? Uh, I think what I enjoy about the job is the, the variety really. So, you know, I can be in, I'm, I'm in a school today, for example, and I've seen, you know, a number of students all who have completely different ideas about the careers that they're interested in. They all might be at different levels, you know, attainment wise, education wise, but they're all at the beginning of the journey. So I think it's really, you know, really inspiring to speak to some of these young people around their ideas. You know, maybe encourage, encourage them to think of ideas that they might not have, you know, come across before or encouraging them and keeping them motivated in the studies, letting them know what all their options are, you know, because some, some students are a bit, you know, might be lacking a little bit of confidence. Some students that have got a plan all set out already when they come to us to speak to us. So it's just that variety, really. And, and yeah. speaking to people at the beginning of their journey, you know, when the, all the options are there for them, the, you know, aspirations, making sure they're aiming as high as possible. Um, and every day is different. You know, there's never two days in school that are the same. Speaking to different year groups, speaking to teachers, speaking to 
um, support staff, learning mentors, etc. So it's nice to feel sort of part of a team when you're working in school and, and supporting the students as, as best you can. Absolutely. And it's good to see how focused you are on the student. How important would you say impartiality is in careers guidance in schools and colleges? So I think that's that's a key a key thing, really. It's really, really important. I mean, one thing is that, you know, when the student comes to talk to, to myself and the other careers advisors in the team, it's kind of making it clear to them that you're not there to tell the students what to do or what they should choose and, you know, what the best option I think is. It's all their decision, really. So some students appreciate having someone to talk to who isn't a subject teacher who hasn't got that, you know, real specialism in their, you know, academic area, but, talk, but talks about all the options, you know, so you can talk to students about A-levels, you can talk about apprenticeships, which are a really good option for a lot of students, which they might not have thought of, or, or you know, the, their geography teacher might mention an apprenticeship. So we've got that knowledge of, you know, the local provision and the local labour market. We're not necessarily trying to direct students in, in the direction that we personally think is good for them, but it's talking to them about the strengths and talking to them about the preferences and how they like to learn and hopefully sending them away with, with the, the equipment and the knowledge to kind of look into the options themselves. And I think that's really important because students are getting lots of messages about studying and working, which is obviously really important but it's looking at the bigger picture sometimes and giving them options that might not have come across. Excellent, absolutely valuable advice. Joanne Green, Careers Manager and Careers Advisor at the Change in Education Group. Thank you very much for your time.